Hello everyone, welcome to Practical Beam. Today, I will share to you how to create water field barrier system using the Railings tool command in Revit. I will also explain how did I come up to the idea of using this method instead of the other methods possible. This tutorial video consists of three steps. First, modeling the water field barriers component. Second, nesting it into the baluster family and finally setting up the reeling tie for the water field barrier system in the Revit project. Hopefully this tutorial could help and give you some ideas on creating Revit components. So let's start. Okay, so this is the sample Revit project showing the locations of water field barriers. So the first question is, what is the purpose of modeling those temporary works component? Definitely for visualization, for site utilization, the construction planning, and, and it could also be used for simulation or construction sequence. Before I start to do the model, I need to plan a clever way satisfying these three questions. So number one is, how can I create those barriers efficiently that it would not take me a lot of time doing it? Number two, what if the path where I need to put those barriers are along a curved path and sloping surfaces? And number three, what if the path was changed prior to new layout or next phase of construction with regards to simulation? So these are the three modeling options that I've tested. The number one is the component tool and using Arepus. Number two is adaptive component. Number three is the reading tools. So I leave this guys to you to test and compare and to know the implications using those three modeling options. But of course, the reason that I chose the reading tool as the best options for me is because it is very flexible when working on complicated paths such as curve or round path since it is a sketch based command and also it could be hosted to sloping surfaces and topography meaning it satisfies the three questions I've asked earlier okay so let let us start doing the water field barrier component so this is the step one so i downloaded water field barrier details from the internet and use it as a reference in creating the family the component will be a site category component with subcategory as water field barrier the reason for doing this is for me to easily manipulate the visibility of the barrier component when I used it in the project. In this exercise, I did not uh, use any parametric features assuming that all the dimensions are fixed. So the tools that I've used on creating the barrier components are extrusions and blends for solid and void geometries.
So this is the final product of the water filled barrier components having two family types for colors red and white and we will insert it to the baluster family. Okay, so this is step two, creating the baluster family wherein we will insert the water barrier component that we've created earlier. In the type parameter dialog, I've key in the height and width dimensions of the barrier which are 900 mm and 1800 mm respectively. If you've encountered an error dialog when aligning the barrier to the reference plane, it means that the work plane and always vertical track box are not properly set in the barrier component. All you have to do is to edit the barrier component and enable the work plane track box and disable the always vertical track box and then reload it again into the project. Okay, so this is the final step, creating a railing type in the project. In the new project, load the baluster family that we've created. Then, in the Architecture tab, click Railing Tool, then Edit Type to create a new type for Water Field Barrier and follow the settings.
And that's it. This is how I create the water field barrier by reading tool command in Revit. I hope that you've learned something by watching this tutorial. If you have some comments and suggestions, don't hesitate to comment below and please subscribe on this channel. Thank you and have a good day.